Hey everyone, recently I was on the TubeBuddy channel doing a live stream and I had created these little animations that go across the bottom of the screen while you're live streaming and I did see a couple of comments in the chat asking how I did that. So today I wanna run you through how to create animations for overlays if you're live streaming. Welcome to Shelly Saves the Day. On this channel we do YouTube Explained Simply and video editing made easy. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you like and subscribe, hang out with me, would love to have you be part of the squad. And speaking of squad, I wanna make sure I give a special shout out to all of my channel members, especially my platinum channel members. Thank you so much, I think, for being here. It's on this side, isn't it? It's on this side. Why didn't you guys tell me? It's on this side. Thank you so much to TubeBuddy for being a platinum channel member. If you wanna learn more about memberships, make sure you check the down bar below and there will be a video explaining everything about it. Okay, so, oh, by the way, if I didn't tell you yet, um, iMovie Made Easy, it has officially launched, as well as the animated subscribe, like, all that button. Uh, that's available for purchase now in the merch self down below this video. So if you want either of those, make sure to check that out as well. All right, so here's what you are in for today. We're gonna get into the computer and I'm gonna show you how I make some of these animated overlays. Now, like I said, I have this in Ecamm or Restream, but you can put this in other programs as well or just have it in your videos so that you can overlay them in iMovie, Final Cut Pro, whatever you're using and you can use it there too. Now, while I did use these animations for while you're live streaming, there is nothing saying that you can't just use them for animations in your regular videos. It's gonna behave the same way, but I wanted to show you this one because I did get a few comments in that chat section. So let's jump into the computer. I'm gonna share my screen with you and we are gonna be ready to go. First thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Keynote and you are going to create a new presentation. One thing that you wanna change when you are first launching it is changing the slide size from a four by three into a 16 by nine, which is the more traditional widescreen for YouTube. So let's do that first. And we're gonna change this to a wide 16 by nine. And it doesn't really matter which presentation you choose, just choose one and hit enter. And then let's make sure that this is big. Let's make this full size here. All right, so the next thing that you're gonna do is you're going to select everything that's on the screen and then you're just going to delete it. So we're just gonna hit Command A and we're gonna delete everything. Then we're gonna go over to the side where it says the animate and document and format right over here. So we are gonna go over here and under the format, under the first tab, we are going to select color fill, no fill, gradient fill, all of these options right here where hopefully you're seeing this, we are gonna go with a no fill. That means it's gonna look black, but when you export it, as long as you export it correctly, it's actually going to be a transparent one and that's why it won't take over the entire screen. It will show everything underneath it as well. So this is what we want. We want a no fill, even though it looks black right now, don't worry. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do, I am going to reduce my slide size. That way you can see everything that is happening on the screen. So let me reduce this down to like a 50%. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, and I guess I could move myself out of the way too. One second here. All right, hopefully that's better and you can see everything that's going on on screen. Now we've got our slide and I know it looks black, but it's not, I swear, it's transparent and I think the first thing that we'll do is we will create like a little bottom lower third and it's basically going to say your channel name but you know since I don't know your channel name since you're watching we're gonna go with my channel name all right now if you already have images that you've downloaded off of the internet that have transparent backgrounds stuff like that um, then you can absolutely lay these on top as well and we can get into that a little bit later or maybe in another video. And if you don't know what I'm talking about or how to do that, I do have a video that I've shown you how to do that. I can link it up here in the eye and in the description down below. So let's first things first, we're gonna keep this super simple. We're gonna go up to the shape up at top and we are going to select this square. And let's just to start with, make it a color so you can actually see. And we're gonna make it a little bit bigger than the size needs to be because I, I cannot tell you how many times I've had it where it ends up being just a little bit off and you miss just a little bit something and that's just a big bummer. We don't want that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down here. I'm gonna put it red so you can at least see it on the screen, hopefully a little bit better. Next thing that we're gonna do, that one I don't really wanna mess with. It's going to be like the constant and then I'm gonna have basically like a news ticker going across it. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that as is right now. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna to come to the text option. Now this can be whatever you want it to be. 
but let's think about this for one second. You can either get there by going to the text option. You can also click text at, at the top and you can't really see it, but it just did create a little text bar. We're gonna bring it down here. And I think for this to look kind of newsy, kind of YouTube-y, um, and for you to be able to see it, we're gonna make the text white so you can see this. So first things first, we're gonna come in here. Um, no matter what, I'm gonna make it a bold one and the text color, I want it to be white. And then let's go ahead and just type something so you can hopefully see something right away. Test. All right, now we know that's looking a little bit tiny. So let's go ahead and make this pretty tall. We want this to definitely be visible. Let's see, where are we at? I'm gonna put this somewhere around maybe 100. That looks pretty good. All right, so let's line it up so it's even. Okay, so we're gonna say, welcome to the stream, something like that. So now that we have this text uh, written out, we're gonna animate it so it looks like it's actually typing it at the same time as it is going across the screen. So first we'll do that, and we're gonna go over here to the animate button. So for the build in, that means how does it get on screen? The action is what does it do once it's on screen? And the build out is how does it leave the screen? So let's start with a build in action. And let's see, we can do a preview. Let's take a look at the keyboard. I think I like that one. Yeah. Um, but you can always play around with all sorts of other ones like the move in which is where everything comes in all at once I'm gonna go ahead and do this keyboard one because I like the way that it looks when you see the cursor and you kind of see it coming across So we're gonna select that one now the duration and direction you can change which direction This is actually headed and so and how long it takes to go across the screen So one thing that I'm also going to do is make sure that this animation once it's in my program I'm actually gonna make sure that it's selected to loop So if you're on a live stream, it will just keep going if you're in in a video editing program, you can just have it play once and that's what you'll have here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is gonna take four seconds to come out. I want the little cursor to um, appear, which is that line as it's going. And then you have this uh, delivery, which is all at once because it's only one sentence, one paragraph, all at once is gonna be fine. Otherwise it would just be like, if you had blocks of text, you could kind of do it line by line or you could play around with it. And let's go ahead and just that looks pretty good to me. Let's come back to the text here. So the only other thing that we gotta do is this build order. We wanna make sure that it does not have a on click. We want it to play after transition. We want it to go right away. It's an auto play. So if we wanted to preview this, hopefully, let's take a peek. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. All right, so that's gonna be the very first one. Now, if you want it to, um, do any kind of action while it's on screen, then we're gonna go to this middle one. So there are definitely a lot fewer options here, um, but you can still take a peek at these. So we can rotate them, we can scale, we can blink. Actually, because I think it's just gonna come in like a typewriter, I don't feel like we need an action on this. Let's just have a uh, build out where maybe like the whole thing slides off to the side. So we're gonna go ahead and push this in and I think it's gonna be um, a move. Let's take a peek though at see if we like any of these. So we can do a spoosh. No, I don't like that. We're gonna do a spin. We can do a wipe. Wipe is actually kind of cool. Um, and we could do a move out. Yeah, I kind of like the move out. And then, um, cause that's what I that's kind of what I was thinking. And then of course there is the keyboard out, but I think I'm gonna go with a move out. Now that was awfully fast and I want it to take a little while. So let's go ahead and increase the length of time that this is happening. We do want it to go left to right because that's the way that the text was being uh, typed out. And I don't think we wanna bounce on this one. So let's take a peek. And then in that build order, we wanna make sure that it happens right away. Um, not on click, but after build one. But if you wanna have the welcome to the live stream stay on the screen for a while, you can add a delay in. So after the welcome to the live stream comes on screen, you may wanna have it stay on screen for you know three, five, 10 seconds, and then have it move out and just have then either go to the next slide or whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, but I'm gonna give it like a five second delay that way, if you watch it, you should have it say, welcome to the stream. And we did slow that down, so it's gonna take a little while to do that. You want this to stay on screen, and then after five seconds, it's going to then automatically move it out. 
there we go. So let's, the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and um, go over to the slide itself. We're gonna hit Command C, we're gonna hit Command V, we're gonna duplicate it. That way everything is pretty much the same as the slide underneath it. And then what we're gonna do is just change the text on the second slide. So let's have it say, what do you want it to say? I wish you were here to tell me. You could say, channel memberships now available. You could say something like that. Okay, now if you wanna have all of the same um, like actions just to keep it all kind of like congruent, then you could totally do that. You can change actions, whatever you wanna do. And other than that, let's just go ahead and export this and then we can take a peek at what it looks like. So, um, should we preview this? Let's see here channel memberships now available that looks pretty good okay and then after five seconds it should kind of move right off yeah that looks good i think that looks good all right so we're going to go up to the file and then export and then we're going to export it as a movie and then the most important thing two things here one you want to make sure that you hit all of the slides so make sure you hit all the slides Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and say, yeah, we could give it five seconds. Make sure that it's 1920 by 1080, which is going to be that 16 by nine orientation. And then this is the most important. Make sure it says Apple ProRes 4444. So you'll see all these different options and you wanna make sure that it's on the 4444 and you have this checked for export with transparent background. This is the key to making sure that it doesn't take over the screen and it allows the video that's underneath to still play. All right, so we're gonna call this example banner. We're gonna export this. And then after this is done, I'm gonna show you my screen so that we can go into the live stream program that I'm currently using and you can see what it looks like when it plays on screen. All right, so once you enter that, now you can see that this banner down below is gonna continue to play. I'm gonna go ahead and have it loop so that if I was on a stream, then it would be playing the entire time. And this is what you would want. So this is that type of thing that makes your video go and be a little bit more elevated or your live streams look a little bit more professional. So I think it's kind of a cool way to spice up all of that video that you're gonna do. So once you kind of get this method down, you're gonna be able to see the possibilities are really endless. And that's why I was able to do something such as, you know, my purple socials coming up over here on the side. This was done exactly the same way in Keynote exported as a 4444 file and then put as an overlay into my project or, you know, my live streaming software. And then also um, another example is going to be this. I could say that I have a channel sponsor, which I do, which is Restream. If you guys wanna check it out, you can always give it a shot. You can also um, use my link, save $10, and you can multi-stream to these like 30 places all at the same time when you sign up with them. So if you wanna check that out, make sure you check out the description box for a link to Restream. Once again, I wanna give a special shout out to all of my channel members, especially my platinum level ones. Thank you so much for being here and supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate it and I appreciate your support. I also wanna say if you like this video, please make sure that you like and subscribe and ring that bell so you can be notified when I create new videos and put them out because they're either helping you with YouTube or video editing. So that's what we are doing here on this channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today in this video. I will see you next Sunday for another video and on Thursday for another Triple T Thursday. Bye.